Hey, Google, turn on my computer, please. Waking the beast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a somewhat different video from what I normally make. Recently got a Google Home, and I would like it to be able to interface with my computer as well as turn it on. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can make your Google Home or Amazon Alexa wake on land your computer with minimal effort. The first thing you'll need to do is configure your computer to allow wake on LAN. If we right click on our network down here and then go to change adapter settings, we should see our network card. Let's right click on our ethernet, click properties. And then under configure, if you have the power management tab, you can just come over here and there should be allow this device to wake the computer and then allow a magic packet to wake the computer. Check both of these and hit OK. If for some reason you don't have power management, the setting is likely hiding under the advanced tab. If you click in here and see property, if you scroll down, there should be wake on magic packet or wake on pattern. We just want wake on magic packet enabled or allow this device to wake the computer. Some motherboards require that the wake on LAN setting be enabled in your BIOS. Refer to whatever manufacturer's support documents that you have to turn that on. After you've enabled wake on LAN, just hit OK, and you can close out of all of that. There's a few ways that we can have our Google Home actually fire commands. There's the auto voice app that runs on your Android phone. But there's also if auto voice requires that when you communicate with the Google Home, you have to start with ask auto voice to and then your command. By using the if Google Assistant service, we don't have to start our command with ask if to do this. We can just ask it a normal sounding command so it doesn't sound like we're always talking to a robot. The other thing you're going to need is a service that will tie in with if I'm using push bullet. You can also use push over. After you have an if account, just go ahead and create a new applet. And then if this Google Assistant, you want to say a simple phrase, and then you can say, power on my computer. You can choose other phrases as well if you'd like to do that. And then what you want the Assistant to say in response. We can hit Create Trigger. And then under that, we want to select Push Bullet or Push Over, whatever service you're using to communicate with your phone. We're just going to push a note. We don't care about the title and the message is just going to be WOL PC. We want this message to be something that will never be sent in another push bullet message to your phone or notification. You can use a random string of characters. You just have to make sure that you know what it is for when you bring it over to your phone. We're going to create action and then hit finish. We do not want a notification when it runs. Now, once that's done, we need to head over to our phone. And this is where we're either going to use Tasker or Auto Magic. I use Auto Magic because I just find it's simpler. We can open up Auto Magic. And then from here, just create a new flow, is what they're called. Create a new trigger. And we want to scroll down to Plugin Event. Under Plugin Event, we want our plugin to be Receive a Push. We want it to be a note from anyone and then delete the push because we don't care um, if we keep this push after we've processed what we're going to do with it. And now the filter text is what we typed in on ift. And then just hit check. So now let's drag out an action. And we can do new. And there should be a wake on LAN packet feature. Last time I used Tasker, they did not support native wake on LAN. So there were plugins that you could use. You just need to set up the plugin in Tasker and then do the wake on LAN configuration in there. But since Auto Magic supports it natively, we can just set it up from here. Once you're on the wake on LAN packet action, you can hit the three dots and you can enter your computer's IP address. This should auto configure your wake on land settings in auto magic. If you don't know what your IP address is, you can go back to your computer, hit windows key and R to open the run prompt, type CMD, hit enter, and then type IP config. Under the IPv4 address, this is what you'll want to type in. So I'll type in 172.16.22.10. 
and I will hit OK. At this point, AutoMagic should automatically discover your MAC address. If you'd like to confirm what your MAC address is, you can do ipconfig slash all, and listed under the physical address is the MAC address for your computer. Wake on LAN works by sending a packet to the MAC address for your computer while it's off. So for some reason, it has configured the wrong MAC address for my computer. So now what I'll do is I'll just correct that by typing in the MAC address manually. And then once that's done, we need to choose the IP and port. Since Wake on LAN works on what's called a broadcast, that means we need to use our network's broadcast address. Typically, your broadcast address is going to be the first three numbers of your IP address with 255 at the end. This isn't a networking lesson, so we're just going to type that in. So it's 172.16.22.255 for me. If your IP address is something like 192.168.1.40, your broadcast address, which you specify here, will be 192.168.1.255. That's based on your subnet mask right here. If you'd like to learn more, just Google what is a broadcast address, and Wikipedia should sort you out. The port is going to stay as port 9. Now, after we've hit saved, we just need to enable the flow. And that should be it. Assuming that we have push bullet on our phone, which I do right here. If I go to auto magic and then I can go over to my Google home and then I say, hey, Google. Power on my computer. Turning on your computer. You quickly saw these flash red. That means that the notification was sent and this flow was processed. If my computer was off, it then would have been turned on. So that's my quick how to video on how to get your Google Home to turn on your computer just by screaming commands at it. You can leverage if with push bullet and display fusion or unified remote, basically anything that can communicate with Tasker to your computer to fire commands. As an example, I have a flow here called assistant work stuff. And what this will do is under display fusion, I have a scripted function that's coded in C sharp that will just open all of my work programs for me. So if I turn my computer on, I can then ask Google Home to open all of my work stuff. So for instance, if I say, hey Google, open my work programs. Opening your work program. The Google Home will push that command to my phone, and then it will open all of the commands on my computer. But now all the computer programs for my work are opening. So I hope this opens up the possibilities for you to do some cool stuff with your Google Home. Of course, since you're leveraging the Google Assistant, you can use these commands with Google Now on any Android phone. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll probably only get source engine development news after this, but Hit the button anyways. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.